Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Friday, February the 23rd. And as per usual, I'll start with my scanning by the top three rows, then the middle three rows, and then the bottom three rows. And then I'll look at scanning by columns and see if I get any hidden single digits out of that. Once I complete this phase, then I'll move on to the next phase and hopefully I'll be able to deduce things like pairs and triples and whatnot without having to pencil mark the entire grid before I can usually find some hidden single digits at that point. If you like, don't be afraid to leave a like, a comment on my strategy, or consider subscribing if you'd like to see more solves of New York Times hard videos. Okay, with that, let's get going. It looks like I can repeat 7 and 3. Now, seven's actually placed in the box, too, because I've got one, two, three sevens looking into it. As for three, I can put it in one of two spots in row two of box one. Um, in the middle three rows, three, four, and nine can all be placed. Four is in one of these two. Nine is in one of these two. Those threes put a three in one of these two. Well, that three's placed. because it's got one, two, three threes looking into it. And in the bottom three rows, uh, the only thing I get is a nine, but that's a place nine. I'll take it. Okay, what about vertical scanning? This five and this five force a five on the right, so right there, so that well, wrong box. Okay, five is in one of these two, the right box. Okay, this 9 and this 9, which I think I was thinking about. 9 goes there by corner marks. That's a 3. And now, there's only 3 cells left in box 1. 2 of these 2 can't be 4, so guess what? That's a 4. Okay, these 2 are now 6 and 8, and that's a pair. Two's down to one of two spots based on these looking in. Nine's already spoken for, and so is six in column one. But be that as it may, we got a lot of useful things from that. In the middle three rows, okay, here's some threes. So threes in one of those. This nine and this nine means nine is in one of these three, but these two are out, so that. No. Nine's in one of those two. This is out, so that's a 9. That puts a 9 in one of those two. This is an X-Wing. Okay, 5 I haven't done anything with. 5 is placed, right there, based on these. Those two 5s mean one of those is a 5. Okay, 957, 957. Yeah, the 7 and this 7 will force a 7 right there, actually. Okay, so 957, 957, and 3, and that's all I'm going to get. Okay, the rightmost three columns after all this. These threes force a 3 in one of those two. That's the only repeat digit I get, but I have a lot of useful information. Column 1, I'm looking at 1, 2, and 7. This isn't 2, so it's 1 or 7, but those two can be any of them. Oh, actually, that's not 7. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are in column 6 already. I need 2, 4, 6, and 8. Well, 2, 6, and 8. And this is 2 and 6. That's an 8. Two six and 2, 6 to fill out the column. Uh, 
Let's see, three, five, seven, nine. So I need one, two, four, six, eight to fill out row six. This clearly isn't one, but I think it can be any of the evens apart from four. Out of one, two, four, six, eight, neither of these can be four or eight. So these are from one, two, six, except that's not two. Okay, so one, two, six, that's a triple. Guess what? I just placed the eight. And this eight and that virtual eight forces an eight, one of those two, but not here. This eight and this eight will force an eight, one of these two. Okay, four, three, two, nine, eight, five. I need one, six, seven. For the remainder of column two, this C6, so that's a 1-7 pair, which places two and one, and then seven and one, respectively. Okay, so this is a triple. Uh, three, four, six. That's not four, that's not six, that's any of them. Okay, this is a pair. Six and seven, either of which are filled in. So this is a pair, five and two, which also isn't resolved either. But three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this is three, four, not four. Those aren't three. This one is going to sort this triple out in row six. Okay, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, four, eight. Okay, I need one, two, and six. And box eight is now complete. Okay, these can't be one. These are odd digits. Those two can't be one. So one's up there someplace. are one and a bunch of evens. That's not four. Let me clean this up a bit. I get nothing useful aside from one of those two. Three, five, seven, nine. Okay, so these cells are also going to be from one, two, four, six, eight. Two, six, or eight are out. Six crosses a region two. That's annoying. Three, five, nine. Okay, two, four, six, and eight to fill out box five. I have a whole bunch of digits that are evens, but these are all odd because all the evens are placed. So those are from one, five, seven, and nine. These aren't one, these aren't nine. In addition, that's not seven. Okay, I've got one and one of these two. Nine's one of these, but we knew that already. Let's see. Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine are all out, so this is one. It's from one three five seven. This isn't three or seven. That's not three, but that gives me a one five pair in column seven. So one two three five seven nine are taken. So this is down to four or eight. Okay, these can't be two two different ways, but. Well, that's not two. Is this okay? So four, six, eight there. Let's see, one, three, five, seven. So these are still clearly nine. Three, five, seven, nine. 
it can't be two. But four, six, eight before I clean up the row gives me that configuration. Okay, this is not two, four, six, or eight. In fact, that has to be a five. Because nothing else can be. Okay, so those aren't five. Let's see. Okay, these two are the only ones that haven't been filled in yet. There are two, four, five, six. Neither are five. Neither are six. Neither can be seven. At least one. One could be eight. It's not three or four. That's not eight. Let's see. Two there. We knew that already. We knew this already. We sort of knew that. Ah, there we go. Six, eight there makes that's not six. So two. Not two. Not two. Not two. Six, eight there, that's two, that's a one. That's forced to be. So this is left over four, six, eight, six. That's a four, six, eight triple, so guess what? This can't be four. So that places the one and the two here. Uh, these aren't one. Two in column six comes down, places six, one, two. Uh, this should collapse relatively easily at this point. Three, four, nine, seven. Column nine is done. Nine makes this eight, which makes this six, this four. Uh, eight, six, and column one is resolved. This can't be four, eight, that's six. So these two are four and eight some order. That's a 1. That's a 5. 9. 1. 8. 3. 6. 6. 6. 7. 2. 5. 8. 4. 8. There we go. 2. 4. 6. And 12 minutes again. I'll take it. I almost have to speed solve and not fill in candidates quite so much if I wanted to do this in under 10. But I really could do some of these things in under 10 minutes if I put my mind to it. And thank you for joining me this morning.